Hello guys and I welcome you back to another video and in this video I'm going to be pretty much showing you on how to get the iOS 7 app store back because at the moment it doesn't work so let me unlock my phone here and if I go here into the app store it just doesn't load as you can see here it cannot connect to the app store and you cannot download any apps. The only way to download apps on iOS 7 was to sideload, which you can see here, I've sideloaded some apps. Although there's a fix now, which I'm gonna be detailing in this video. I'm gonna be showing you in this video on how to do so. Also install it and yet yeah, pretty straightforward. So all you gotta do is launch Cydia, wait for it to load, go to sources, Go to edit, add, and then add my repo. So this is, I'm going to type it out here for you. Um, this is my repo. You should add this repo to Cydia. Now you can find it on my repo here, as you can see there. And tap on the repo, tap on all packages. Scroll down to until you see iTunes Store X7. And as you can see here, it's a fix for the iOS 7 app store. Now, before I continue, this is not a tweak that I made. I I was just part of it because I was testing it with some of my devices. This tweak was made by JV. You can find him in iClassics Discord, I think. Huge shout out to him and the developers of iTunes Store X originally because without them, he couldn't have done this. And that's pretty much it. So just hit on install. Confirm. And now should be installed. There you go. And okay. So just wait for it to respring, obviously. There we go. And now what you gotta do is to turn off your phone or iPad or iPod slide to power off. What we're gonna do now is to reboot the device. So I'm gonna give this a moment to shut down. And in the meantime, I'm also gonna talk about compatibility because as of now, uh, as of now with filming this video, um, iTunes Store X isn't really compatible with um, any iPhones, iPads or devices uh, with from outside the US. So European iPhones, shouldn't work i think european devices won't work i'm not sure about asian uh, devices or anything other than that um only us ones work at the moment uh, we are not sure why it's probably because of a certificate issue and jv the developer of this week is working on a fix as of now and to just keep that in mind it might work for some and I've heard that it some functionality works. You can download apps, I think, but it still shows cannot connect to the app store or whatever. And yeah, just keep that in mind. It might not work or it just partially might work. The developer is still working on a fix. Don't worry, that's coming. I will post about it on my YouTube channel if there will be a fix or if the fix gets released. Don't worry, so I'll keep you guys updated and I might also pin a comment. Um, yeah, so I'll unlock my phone. There we go. And what you're gonna do is, well, I'm gonna trust because I'm connected to my Mac right now. Um, what you're gonna do is um, go to the App Store. No, just cancel up because my iCloud is logged in. As you can see, the featured tab is still not working. This was a well-known issue even when the App Store was working. Um, you should go to updates and there go to purchased. And as you can see here, all your purchases are here. So you can download your stuff or anything that you might like. So I'm gonna demonstrate this with um, Asphalt Legends. And that doesn't work. I'll try this. Right there we go. So tap on download. Oh, it's bugged out. There, there we go. <clears throat> and you should see the download bar there in a moment. There you go. As you can see, it's downloading there. I'm going to cancel this because it's a really big app. 
so there's no need for me to install this but it does work these three apps were all installed from the app store and nothing else and yeah so as you can see it works i think for sign in you can sign in uh, with two methods the first one is here in apps in the app store i think this one works the best or has the best success rate or whatever you should see a sign in pop up like no updates sign in whatever so you tap on that and enter your iCloud details and you should be good to go or go into settings scroll down to iTunes and App Store and here you should be able to sign in with your Apple ID if the App Store method is not working the settings uh, method worked for me personally but for some testers it didn't so yeah that's that depends anyways so that was it for today's video guys make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video i would really appreciate it and it would help me out a lot and also i'll link um iClassics discord server in the description so you can chat with the jv if there's anything or if you just want to join a discord server i recommend you to join that server it's a very nice server and yeah that was it for today's video guys again and peace out guys and until the next time